Hello students, welcome to all of you. Over here we have great expert and faculty Bhumika and Suraj who are going to share their thoughts on the just concluded CS paper. Thank you sir for giving us this opportunity. Great. So how was the paper? Easy or difficult? It was easy sir compared to last year. So this year the paper was easy to uh, comparatively to last year. Yes. What about you Bhumika ma'am? Yeah, definitely it was easier comparatively. Uh, you can say from the previous three years, it is the easiest one. And uh, from the subject wise, uh, subject wise division, if we see, um, level of the question was so easy uh, in most of the questions. So you can say that it was easier comparatively. Uh, as I want to add something, in programming and data structure, you can see that uh, from C coding, uh, three to four questions have come. So it is okay. easy. So generally, these types of questions don't come. But uh, comparatively to last three years, as no, they, were, uh, they were the basic questions, you huh. can say. So, so even if, if you're strong with your basics, you no need to do practice for that type of questions only. I'm not do, saying that uh, without doing practice, you can get good rank. But for these type of questions, you, you don't need to do too much of hard work. So okay. it was extremely easy. Even in college level, it was. Only some questions. Okay. Which paper do you think is easier to get? high rank easy or difficult in our point of view sir uh, difficult paper is good to get, get good rank because in uh, difficult paper th there will be very less competition since this year the paper is comparatively easy so there is a chance that there will be high com competition so as uh, in past uh, years we can see that in 2013 iit bombay was conducted the gate exam at that time the the paper was very tough so okay. the highest score was 69 point something. The, the, top, the topper also told at that time that uh, since the paper was easy, he was able to get good marks because he was saying that uh, since uh, the question was tough, I was not able to do even though some other were also not able to do. So these things will happen when questions will be hard. So it is good for the aspirant who are appearing in gate 2020 because IIT Delhi was going is going to conduct uh, GATE 2020, so you may get a chance that generally IIT Delhi conduct hard paper, difficult one. So there will be very less competition. And actually, they are more emphasizing on the uh, overall syllabus rather than on particular subjects. So they are more emphasizing and they are checking your knowledge that uh, in which field uh, they are not focusing on only one field. They want your all over knowledge that for the full syllabus, if you are confident enough to appear or not. Yeah, these things it means the trend is changing. Now okay. means uh, easy questions and uh, means questions are coming from all subjects. It means uh, last years uh, from some subjects, uh, just like from OS, uh, it was from uh, around eight marks, but this time from OS it was uh, around 10 marks. So they want that students who are studying full syllabus, they want that type of students. Uh, not only that focusing only the uh, their favorite subject or the scoring subject just like uh, in previous years in last years we can see that from TOC generally 8 to 10 marks questions was coming but this year around 6 marks question has come. Okay very interesting insights in fact okay so essentially what you are saying is that uh, unlike previous years where you could probably score a high rank by studying a few subjects in you know, over the last two years, given the kind of papers that we have been getting, mm -hmm. you have to score well in all of the subjects yeah, means, in order to get yes, very good rank. Yeah, you right? have to study all the subjects. Yeah, definitely. First, okay. you have to complete the full syllabus. It is very much important. Okay. Because, uh, the, you can say that uh, they are making the paper in order to surprise you that uh, uh, okay. one time you are prepared for TOC and the other time they are not giving you that much questions, that much weightage for TOC. From the pre, uh, from right now scenario only, we can see that uh, TOC was given more uh, uh, weightage from the past five years, and this yes. time it was given the least uh, least weightage. Okay, interesting. So that brings me to the next question. Okay, can you throw some light on the subject-wise weightage distribution? Yeah, definitely. Uh, for the uh, uh, if you see in the compiler design also uh, from the previous year, uh, it it was uh, uh, around uh, two to uh, two questions maximum were asked from that uh, particular subject. But this time, it uh, uh, 
uh, rolled back it was four questions uh, and the weightage was around uh, six to eight which was very high for compiler design because uh, in the gate syllabus also it is not given that much weightage other than that uh, from programming and data structures if you see uh, programming is also um, uh, given a good weightage this time it was easier as mm. suraj said definitely they were easier but uh, it was given more privilege than data structures and uh, other than that we were thinking uh, from the previous analysis only uh, computer architecture was to be given a good uh, weightage this year from the previous uh, analysis but this time it has again deteriorated so they are likely to surprise us more uh, so that we are more prepared for the paper rather than for only for focusing on the marks okay uh, now can you think of a past year gate paper which was very similar to this year gate paper um yeah uh, from the uh, um, as i already told you that from operating system uh, there were some questions uh, of deadlock okay. it was uh, repeated uh, from the previous uh, gate syllabus and uh, in the previous year if you see gate 2018 there was a question synchronization it was uh, directly uh, uh, taken from your uh, textbook that was tangible and uh, some of the dbms question it was from gate 2015 that sql question table of uh, student and performance uh, this question was also from the previous year so if you can see that uh, the pattern is being uh, repeated if you see okay so generally questions are repeated means uh, you can see that uh, in your gate exam generally two to three questions get repeated from last previous years okay yeah repeated means yeah. Uh, not exactly so the they uh, may data, change the data yeah. they change then the data sometimes they even uh, give the questions with the same data okay yeah from right. the textbook if they copy then it is the uh, hmm. same data but uh, if they are copying from a gate uh, previous then it will be changed hmm. okay so if i understand correctly what you are trying to imply is that not the entire paper was similar to any past year gate paper yes. Yes, but sir. there are some portions which were hmm. similar to previous years yes. paper right yes sir okay great now a very important question now what probably is going to be the cut off in this gate paper as from last 10 years we are seeing that uh, we are getting a gate uh, score cut off in computer science is 25 so this year probably also that it will be at least 25 because uh, comparatively to last years this year the paper is little bit easy so we we hope that 25 will be the cut off but since the paper is comparatively easy compared to last years so that's why i am saying that at least it must be 25 at least Okay. slight increase uh, it may slightly increase okay. but more and less 25 will be the cutoff. 25 is going to be the cut off right okay and what marks do you think your topper is going to get in this particular cs gate paper uh, sir this year i think that uh, topper will get 85 to 95 marks in between 85 to 95 marks because uh, compared to last year the topper has got uh, 93 so uh, around of 93 so since last year the paper was lengthy but this year the paper was not lengthy so and it was easy so there is a probability that marks will get increased okay so and which marks do you think will enable student to get rank within a top 1000 um more than uh, 60 if you go, if you get or you score then definitely you will get a less than 1000 rank definitely within 1000 rank yeah, okay definitely. so you have to score within uh, 60. above 60 and, uh, to get yeah, within 1000 rank from the analysis okay. only we can say that this paper was not that much tough uh, if you had a good practice then definitely you will go on a score 60 plus uh, even sir uh, with the 58 means uh, if someone is getting 58 marks then also there is a probability that he may be lying within he might uh, get in within 1000 okay great and uh, before we sign off you know one last question do you think solving last year question paper or last year test series would have helped the students achieve a get better rank yes sir i totally agree with this point that uh, solving previous year questions and test series definitely help a student because solving previous year question will give a student a very much confident and they get an analysis how the questions is coming they will know the pattern how the questions is coming so it is very 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 much important because you can use the same method as when in school days students are giving the maths exam so they before going to appear their exam in maths means maths papers they used to do lots of practice since before giving to the exam going to the exam they had a revision of practice of two and three times so if you practice at least three times in gate exam i will definitely assure you that you will definitely get 250 below because this year since the paper was little bit easy 
so you will definitely get within 250 and uh, if you do test series then it will in enhance your marks because solving previous year questions and doing practice of uh, new questions in test series you will get new questions of that type because uh, since the questions are getting repeated and not every questions are getting repeated but the pattern is going to same so from where you are going to get the same patterns question from test series only this is one advantage of test series and there is another one advantage of test series that if you give test series then you get a habit of sitting of 3 hours you, that is very important yeah that is very important you get a discipline of sitting of 3 hours because you will face very much difficulty to sit at a place of till 3 hours to give the exam and since uh, everyone who had matlab jisne kitna bhi mehnat kiya hai wo nervous to hoga jarur because you had worked hard very much to get to want you want uh, you have aspirations you want psu or iit so you had worked hard so you will definitely get nervous so thoda bahut to nervous chalta hai utna to hoge hai aap to wo confident kaun laega who will bring that confident that you will get good marks the test series and the previous year questions so it will increase your confident and you get and have it just uh, last year i heard the interview of the topper she told that uh, she was not feel that she is giving the gate exam because she has given all the test series all the mock test see so so at that time at the exam she was feeling like that uh, she is giving a one any one of the mock test so it's very good so you get and have it since i will assure you if you do the form use the formula of uh, giving exam as like math you will definitely get a good marks do you want to add anything over here uh, yeah definitely uh, i can say that from his point of view that uh, practice makes a man or woman perfect so if you go for the test series and you do the practice your time will be managed definitely your confidence will boost up and uh, secondly if you see uh, as we already had discussed that most of the uh, most not, not of the most but some of the gate questions have repeated and had been asked uh, two to three times in the gates only right uh, if you see for this uh, uh, digital logic this time the decoder question was uh, already asked in 2008 gate uh, uh, gate scenario and it has repeated this time also so you can see that uh, it is being asked or some of the data has been changed like in the other question of uh, digital logic that was your addressing uh, in that one the addressing has changed but the question has been repeated so uh, if you go for the test series then definitely it will uh, give you a um, uh, your uh, score a boost and uh, you will definitely get a good score okay yes, sir i want to add something sure that uh, as i had uh, did one video in youtube gate score booster from at there i had explained seven questions which was covering almost all the uh, important topics and from there only they had asked one questions so how we got, got that analysis that from these topics they will generally ask so then from previous years we are able to know that this type of questions will just, just uh, i had made a video in tuc from context free language at uh, in my youtube also in our the gate academy youtube videos i had made that and similar type of questions are asked this year also so you will definitely get an idea and this year also we have launched a gate rank predictor since uh, you will able to know your rank very interesting right yeah yes sir uh, i'm sure a lot of students will be anxious to know as to how they are going to score in the when the gate results are going to be announced yes sir today only many students are saying sir uh, uh, if my marks will be around this then how my rank will be so uh, i hope that this uh, app will be help you it's a very fantastic app yes students i think this is a very very useful advice to all of you so the gate academy has uh, just launched the gate rank predictor and i'm sure all of you can use this gate rank predictor tool to get some kind of a insight as to how your score or the final gate rank is going to look like i'm sure this is going to help all of you a lot thank you student hope jab 2020 ke liye preparation kar rahe hain best wishes with you don't get depressed uh, if you are not able to do this time then definitely you will score in next time so just uh, do your best and uh, practice a lot and all the best i want to add something as bhumikam ma'am told that i had seen that whenever i have taught in uh, centers and in classes whenever a students not able to answer that question they get depressed so it is not a point to get depressed you can see that uh, every time the questions uh, the total marks will be 100 only but no one get 100 out of 100 you will definitely able to means not able to solve some of the questions even 
एक्सपर्ट्स मीन्स बहुत ही डिफिकल्ट है हंड्रेड में हंड्रेड लाना तो आप नर्वस मत होइए अगर आपसे कुछ क्वेश्चन नहीं हो रहे हैं ये आप ये मैं देखा हूं बच्चों के साथ जनरली ऐसा होता है सर नहीं हो रहा है मेरे से अभी आप सीख रहे हैं फर्स्ट यू आर लर्निंग यू एनालाइज योर सेल्फ आफ्टर प्रैक्टिस इफ यू हैड सॉल्व लास्ट प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन एटलीस्ट थ्री टाइम देन यू एनालाइज योर सेल्फ इन फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट जनरली दिस प्रॉब्लम हैपन आप पहले अटेम्प्ट में अपने आप को एनालाइज करें सर ये तो मेरे से नहीं हो रहा है जनरली होगा आप तो चाहते हैं देखिए आप खुद देखेंगे इवेन वी आर गेटिंग स्कॉलरशिप सो वी आर गिविंग मीन्स इन वी आर गेटिंग वेरी मच एडवांटेज थ्रू गेट गेट का बहुत एडवांटेज है पीओसी से रिक्रूटमेंट होता है इसका डे वाइज डे इज इंपॉर्टेंट बर्ड है तो आप लोग नर्वस मत होइए आप कीजिए डेफिनेटली होगा बस यू नीड टू डू लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस मैथ्स की तरह यूज कीजिए अच्छा से डेफिनेटली होगा थैंक यू Thank you so much thank you bhumika thank you so i'm sure our students are going to benefit a lot from the insights that you have just shared and uh, best of luck to all of our students from all of us over here thank you so much thank you